Welcome, I'm Angie Ricci, and I'll be taking you along some monochrome looks I've created, which are based off of the Parisian color palette. I'm a fan of anything that is high impact, but also looks effortless. Everything seamlessly blends together. No building looks out of place. The architecture is just stunning, which is a big inspiration for the looks we're doing today. Camel is one of my favorite colors to use in my wardrobe just because it has a rich earthy tone and it has a luxury feel to it. So adding multiple colors in that range of camel really does have a heightened look. I love pairing it with different textures such as this wool coat and mixing it with a knit little set. This is obviously a transitional look because we're wearing shorts, but I love extending fall looks. It's such a specific time where you can wear coats and play with lengths that why not embrace this time of year. Another reason why I love camel is that it really does suit everybody's skin tone. And most people have this color in their wardrobe, so if you mix them together, it's really an easy outfit to recreate at home. When making monochrome looks, sometimes it can feel a little overwhelming just because we want all the shades to perfectly match each other. But I don't think that's necessary just because we're always striving to have an effortless look. We never want to look like we try too hard. Walking the streets of Paris, you'll most likely notice a lot of Parisians, women and men, wearing black. And I think it's because it's effortless, just a bit like its city. You can mix structure and something that's a little bit more fitted and somehow it looks just right. When I'm wearing black, I like showing a bit of skin so I don't look too severe. There needs to be a balance, so I'm wearing this vest which does show a bit of skin and a low-rise skirt, which is a bit more fitted. Accessorizing is important to add texture when wearing black, so I'm wearing this very oversized belt, which is a sample I've made for my future band I'm working on. It's so easy to do a monochrome look with all black just because I have so much black in my wardrobe. But again, playing with textures really makes a difference in the sense where there's a level of shine and of matte textures and the sheerness from the tights and always playing with masculine and feminine fits adds a playful aspect. And although there's definitely a matrix vibe, it is also very timeless and easy to recreate at home. I do have my tips and tricks to seem a little taller as I'm a petite girl and I love the elongated look. So I love pairing a mini short or a mini dress with a long jacket. It just gives the illusion of a longer leg. Also, I just adore bunching up my sleeves. I do that a lot on my coats and my jackets, especially anything that's slightly oversized. Showing your wrists does help with the illusion of a taller feel. I've noticed the Olsen twins do that a lot. It also just adds an element of cool and effortlessness that makes or completes an outfit. The Osman renovation program really impacted the Parisian architecture, which was a movement in the second half of the 19th century. Beige was the most common color for walls and buildings. So next up, we have an all cream outfit. Again, we'll be playing with textures and I think the most noticeable texture we have here is the tweed jacket, which is oversized. I chose this jacket in an oversized fit to make it a little bit more relevant to now. And I'm trying to break up the um, evening-like look to it by pairing it with a rib camisole, just because it adds a little bit more of an unpredictable aspect to the look. And with the long length of the skirt, which looks a little bit more dressed up, it's a nice balance, and I think that it makes everything look a little bit more put together. Also, when you're wearing such oversized pieces on the top, I like balancing it with something that's a little bit more contoured to the body. So we have something that is also showing skin while showing off the silhouette of the body since we're covering it with such an oversized jacket. So in this case, 
we're blending creams and whites and we're making it work just because we're always striving to look effortless. Looking perfect or too calculated is never the goal. We're currently in the apartment I'm staying at for the evening called Pied-à-Terre in Saint-Honoré. I love that the architecture and the feel of the room somewhat match the color palette of my outfit and it's just such a beautiful space to be in. So we're ending with an all taupe outfit which is inspired by Karin Rothfeld saying she says French style means going naked under a trench coat. So we're not doing that quite literally but it's definitely inspired by this saying. I'm pairing it with a turtleneck to keep me warm and a little short and some mules. It can be just as easy as that. Pairing it with some sunglasses and a pretty little bag and you're ready to go. The trench coat is definitely an essential when it comes to an autumn wardrobe. The second it gets chilly, windy, rainy, I'm always reaching for my trench coat. And I think a big reason why I'm always reaching for it is that it has a sense of effortlessness again. I hope you enjoyed all my tips and tricks and that you'll be leaving this video with the confidence to wear an all monochrome look very, very soon. Merci!